This is a scene from The Esther, uh, a film currently in production. And this is uh, Newport Beach, California. Um, the scene starts out, um, scene one. Um, if you like this video, please press the like and the subscribe button. Uh, hidden among the muddy, slow-moving Blackwater River in the forests and swamps of 18th century Virginia was the port of South Quay. Thomas Jefferson described it as hard for the British to get at. In February of 1778, while the British man-of-wars were blockading the eastern seaboard, Joseph Mount and a 50-ton sloop Esther attempted to break free into the Atlantic with her load of tobacco for the French providence of Martinique. Mount was very familiar with the route. He had made this journey many times before. There is a logbook describing the Esther's fateful journey. It describes the tense moments as the Esther heads out to the Atlantic Ocean and attempts to avoid the British warships. The first mate describes the Esther's capture and deliverance to the British prison ship, Jersey, known as Hell by its prisoners. The logbook and accompanying records are part of the Brit Virginia Colonial Records Project. It was established by organizations including Colonial Williamsburg Foundation in order to restore some of the records of Virginia's colonial history destroyed by war or fire. The agent that copied the log and records indicated that the log is in unusual form beginning with the taking of the provisions at South Quay and going on to the incidents of the voyage. It starts in February 12, 1778 and ends on March 17th. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, evening, October 1777. Camera pans in towards a house occupied by the British High Command. British soldiers stand guard. Several men are seated around a wooden table, including Joshua Trump, James Commers, and British General Sir William Howe, and other British officers. James Commers, General, are the rebels now blockaded off Okeechoke, General William Howe. Okachuk is sealed off with one warship and a fleet of schooners. The latest report shows nine rebel schooners have been seized. But we are in need of additional pilots to steer the rebels into our trap. James Commers, Mr. Trump, we need you to pilot a rebel schooner called the Esther. Will you be compensated by, you will be compensated by King George III. Joshua Trump. I am here at your service and to serve King George. He has my loyalty. James Commerce, we are offering gold bars, Mr. Trump. We will provide land in New York once you have suppressed the rebellion. You can put your name on top of the New York buildings if you like. Joshua Trump. My undivided loyalty is to the ruler of all of the American colonies, King George. Long may he prosper and live. What are my orders, Mr. Chalmers? James Chalmers. Proceed to North Carolina for additional orders, Mr. Trump. Joshua Trump. Mr. Chalmers, I, I have dealings with these rebels often. The fools are loyal to this ridiculous cause, which I, am, well, I, I will use to my advantage. Joshua Trump shakes hands with the British and leaves the room following by several British officers. Commerce and Howe remain. General William Howe, can Trump be trusted, Mr. Commerce? James Commerce, not at all, General. He's a liar and a cheat. Trump is scorned up and down the seaboard because of his business dealings. No reputable, reputable businessman will do business with him. General, Trump's allegiance is to our gold and he will never rest, never see it rest assured. Once he completes this, Trump will be handled like the others of his type. General Sir William Howe, I will make certain of that comment. Again, if you like this video, please press the like and the subscribe button. Thank you for viewing.